Hey, I'm Patrick. I'm the co-founder and CEO of World State. Um, I had a blog, but I realized that I'm not keeping it up to date, and I thought, why not do a video? Um, my video is going to have an ask, but it's also going to have a. I'm also going to give you something, and what I'm going to give to you today is advice. Um, over the last few months, I've been in an accelerator called the Portland Incubator Experiment, and I've learned so much. I've met amazing people, but most of all, I've failed. And everyone's like, failure, you have to do it, it's how you get successful, and that's true. But there's another thing. Last night I was doing the same recording, and I just watched that video, and I was at dinner tonight. And the head of my accelerator said to me, she said, if you're not confident, no one's going to believe in you. And I said, you're right. My, my, I used to be this vibrant person who pitched all the time and was happy and excited and now I'm like because I've been trying to get to investors and at the end of the day just be yourself right I'm authentic but sometimes I hide things in a pitch or when I'm talking to someone because I'm worried they're gonna judge I'm I care so much about what people think about me and I wish I didn't but that's just part of me acknowledging that I do but you have to be authentic because if you're not, people will see that. And another thing is when you're authentic, people will receive your ask and they will help you. A few weeks ago, I was in Montana at something called Hatch, a life-changing experience that makes you and your mind just unleash with creativity. You're with these people that are doing things at the United Nations. You're with people like Joy who is in LA and completely reinventing the culture over there, or a girl like Rebecca Cantar, who has already raised money, sold a company, and now is trying to fight the world, uh, the fight sex trafficking. I mean, just amazing people, right? And if you approach them in a cold email, or you're, you're scanning the room, and you're like, oh, I gotta go talk to someone, they're gonna know that, right? But if you just have a serendipitous conversation, and you let yourself go like you know what there was a time when I was in Montana that I I just completely like froze and I was embarrassed and I started crying because it was very sentimental but that's the whole point you don't you want to let your guard down so many times we put our guard up and it leads to nothing but fake conversations small talk so my word of advice for you is be yourself and don't let other people create a caricature out of yourself. I went to prep school for years and as much as I loved it, one thing I hated was being something that I wasn't. And that was because of one action and one action got me a nickname and that nickname went with me my whole, it went, it, it followed me my whole experience at school. And I was obsessed with the wrong things. I wanted to be something I wasn't. And now I look back and I was down and it's pitch practice right now. And you're like, my pitch stinks. But if you lose your energy, your charisma, your true self, they will know that. And no one will believe in you. And don't be afraid to make an ask. That's my second piece of advice. People will help you, but you have to come from an authentic place. Because if you're real, they'll know it. And it doesn't always have to be monetary. I was with the CMO of AT&T, right? And I'm not trying to name drop here, but she's such a busy woman. And what does she do? She offers to help me. And that's because I'm not seeing it in a way like, what can I get out of her? I'm seeing it. I'm not, I don't really know what I'm talking about. I need help. Can you help me? Simple as that. My ask today is for you to subscribe to my newsletter or World State's newsletter. My co-founder Lisa is not here with me, but we want people to subscribe. We want to reach 2,000 by demo day and we're getting close, but we need your help. So please help us. My last thing is, if you have any feedback, I really would appreciate it whether it's me on this camera, because I'm going to be doing this more often with a blog, um, 
or whether it's my advice is messed up, whatever, or the newsletter, please shoot me an email, text 413-672-1897, email patrick at onmsgmedia.com or worldstateapp at gmail.com, and we will gladly take your feedback and iterate on it, but just be yourself, because last night when I was recording this film, I was a person that was tired, I was depressed, and it wasn't me, and even in pitching today, I wasn't confident, and you know what? I haven't raised tons of money, and you lose confidence with investors, but you have to be yourself, so that's my word of advice. Thank you, guys.